Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Monday Moments where I share tips, tricks, and helpful hints. I'm Sean with Manly Made Minute, and this week's tip is all about making your own colorful ephemera. And it's really simple. We have all the tools to do it. Most of us do. There's die sets and stamp sets out there that are combined, and so that's what we're going to use today. So we're going to do it watercolor style. You can use ink, you can use blending tools, you can ink blot this, you can ink smush this. Um, we're going to do it watercolor style um, because I just want a little softer effect and making some stuff for another card um, that I'm going to do some Halloween-y kind of stuff with. So just let me show you and we'll go down to the down camera and show you what I'm talking about. All right. What I'm going to use is the Build a Flower Begonia set by Altenew. And I like these sets because you're going to want something that has more line art versus solid art. You, because you're coloring this on the paper and cutting it out. Um, I like these because I can use the first layer and I can use the second layer, could even use this layer if I wanted to, but I'm not going to get much color popping through. But I'm using the first and second layers. I'm using one of the layers of the leaves with a little thicker veining in it. Um, so let me show you what I'm talking about. This is super easy, super fun. This is for those times where you're just wanting to do something in the craft room and uh, you can just kind of stock up on this stuff and use it later and just start making some things. So what we're going to do, I'm using um, Canson watercolor paper. I'm going to wet this down just so I can get my color to spread out. I don't want it to, to, to grab onto my paper because I want this nice and spread out. Um, then you're just going to color this and blend this and do whatever you want with this and then we're going to stamp it. And I'll show you what I mean. I pre-set out my stamps already in my Misty, um, so I've got layer one and layer two of that begonia. I've got the leaf over here, so I know what I want to do in this corner, some greens, just for the sake of the video, I'm just adding the, uh, otherwise I'd probably do all flowers in one, make a green one, a whole green one, and do the leaves on the other, um, but we're just, for sake of video, showing you both. All right, so I'm just going to wet down my card and get just a nice layer, not not pooled up too, too much. Um, you can, if you want to pool it and get it to the, the water to bloom even more, go right ahead. Whatever you want for that look. All right, now I'm going to use some oranges and some purples on this. And I'm just going to start to color this in randomly. This is all I'm doing, okay? I got a little more water than I wanted. It's blooming pretty good, but that's okay. It'll work, actually. And I'm just pulling my colors that I want and throwing it in there. This is just kind of like making backgrounds um, to use later. It's all, you're, it's all you're really doing. I'm just creating mine into some uh, homemade ephemera. All right, I'm going to throw a little dark in there. Um, just to get some some moodiness for the Halloween things I want to do with this one. So I'm going to throw just a little black in here, like so. And let's get a little mood of some, uh, some bling. So I'm going to throw a little copper, I think, a little copper shine in here as well. Just a little. Grab that orange just a little bit again. All right, I know my leaf is in this corner, so I'm gonna throw down some, some greens, like so. And let's get a little dark in there so we get some mood. Okay, that is it. I'm gonna dry this. I might throw just a little orange right over the top of that. I started, I go light to dark. Um, and you can always add and layer a little bit. So I'm, I'm going to dry this just so that I get um, a little bit more of that orange to kind of stick on there. And what I like about doing it this way is I have found these work great for like mixed media kind of stuff. Um, you know, even just soften this out, do some nice bright colors, some pinks, some purples, some blues. Um, to use for just some nice layers of, on your cards. Um, 
especially when you make a card, then it's like, what do I put on this? And you can always come back to it. Um, and, look, and look through your stash of pieces to see um, what you have that you could throw on here. Dab some of that off. This is just like doing mixed media. That's it. Alright. Throw just a little in here. Alright. That is it. This is all we're going to do. Let's just dry this and then we're going to stamp it and die cut. And this is one of those things, if you are into perfection, this is not, this is not about perfection. Um, it's really just truly experimenting and using what you have and you gotta be happy with the result. Color, throwing color, like I threw some extra color on here for layers because I knew I wanted some more color to pop. But as far as perfection, it's not, this is not perfect coloring. It's not gonna be perfect in the lines and that is not what I'm going for with this by no means, all right? Okay, now I'm gonna throw this into my Misty. Let's just get some room going here so you can see. All right, we're gonna throw this in here. You can use whatever color, you know, whatever black you want. You can use a different color to stamp this, whatever, you know, browns, whatever you want to do. I'm just using um, the uh, Jet Black Archival. Between my fine line stuff, I usually like this or my VersaFine. Um, I also have Memento, but it's whatever you like. All right. Now I'm just going to throw this down and stamp these images. Could do one more layer. Now you can see on that second layer, I don't have my line art, but I'm die cut it. Um, and uh, just get more of that inner innards of the flower versus the line of the flower. All right, same with my leaf. I'm gonna get the more of the innards of that leaf. All right, now there is the line art on here. So I could have went and used the line art on this um, and just called it a day, but I just wanted to show you what you get when you can use these different layering stamps like this. All right. Now, we're just gonna die cut these out. So I'm gonna take my dies for this set and line these up. All right. Just like so. Now, do you have to have stamps with die cuts um, and the layering? No. I just like to use these because they work so well. Um, I could literally just stamp and die cut, or excuse me, um, fussy cut. Um, and you could fussy cut these out. Do not need the die cuts to go with these at all. Does it make it a little easier? Sure, but you do not need it. If you like to fussy cut, um, this works great. All right, let's throw this through my big shot. show you what we get. So I like this because I just get nice soft kind of effects. It's stuff I don't have to think about um, as far as just my exact coloring. Um, have I taken this line art and colored it in? I sure have with watercolor and, and inks and you name it. So there's one. I just think of it as my homemade um, ephemera. Um, that I can stock up on and use my stamp sets for another idea, right? There's my leaf. Now this would look different if I use the line art one, right? 
So now let's just take this last piece here and die cut this one out. And just gotta kind of, these without the line art, you just gotta kind of figure out where that was, right? And I know it was like that. So just lining that up would be about like so. There we go. Just like that. And we'll die cut that one. A little longer on Monday moment on this one just because I wanted to show you this kind of start to finish. It's a little easier to understand, I think, if I show you start to finish than to try to just explain it really quick. But here you go. Are, are different types of ephemera that you can make. Um, using any stamp you have, line art, your layering stamps, you could do solids with this, but it's gonna look different. Um, you're not gonna get this background kind of stuff. So that is your homemade ephemera. All right. Thank you so much for showing up today. Hopefully this gives you an idea to start going through your stash and find stamps. Now, does it have to be floral? Absolutely not. Um, you could use uh, you could use leaves. You could use florals. You could use shapes. You could use characters if you wanted to. Does not have to be florals. I just love how this looks with my florals, and I'm gonna start doing. I'm doing some mixed media stuff, so that's why I made these. But that is how it works. So, thank you for showing up. Thank you for sticking around till the end. If you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button. Would love to have you as a subscriber and keep coming back with my ideas. Monday moments, every Monday, every other Saturday, we use up our scraps and make some cards. And then I do some lives and some cards during the week for you as well. If you're not new, don't be shy and hit that subscribe button and keep coming back. So thank you, and until next time, I'll see you then. <laughs>